Colonel James Kassler was one of the most decorated men in military history, as he is the only airman in United States history to be the holder of three Air Force crosses. Kassler retired from the Air Force on May 1, 1975, but not before he flew on hundreds of missions during several wars. He was most known for his outstanding service and unprecedented loyalty to the U.S. during the Vietnam War, when he was held as a prisoner of war at Hanoi for six and a half years. Colonel Kassler's third Air Force Cross was awarded for his resistance of the North Vietnamese after he was shot down in 1966 on his 91st combat mission over North Vietnam. During his six and a half years as a prisoner of war, Kassler was subjected to a great deal of torture by the North Vietnamese, who were trying to force him to join their propaganda campaign. Kassler and others were subjected to all kinds of terrors, with the most often employed means of torture being beaten by a fan belt. Kassler remembers that he and his comrades were hit up to 800 times in a single session. He believes that the only reason the North Vietnamese kept him alive was that he was well known as a Korean war ace. Kassler's credentials did not protect him from the North Vietnamese, however. In fact, they continued to direct their propaganda campaign towards Kassler, even continuing their beatings after they had allowed him to receive medical attention. Kassler had a steel rod put in his leg and was in a cast from his neck to his feet, and the North Vietnamese still continued to beat him, trying to get him to denounce his country. Many times, Kassler was tempted to end the beatings by denouncing his country and his president. He knew his family would forgive him for it. He knew God would forgive him. He believed the United States was the most forgiving country in the world. But he knew that he could never forgive himself if he were to deny his country. His intention was to survive the beatings and to come home with honor. Colonel James H. Kassler did just that. He was released March 1973 after the peace treaty. Of the 1,016 decorations awarded to 319 ex-prisoners of war, Kassler was the most decorated. He received his first Air Force Cross for his involvement in the Hanoi POL strike in 1966. And the second cross was awarded for his return into North Vietnam on a rescue mission of a wingman who had been shot down. And as mentioned earlier, his third cross was awarded for his six and a half year resistance to the North Vietnamese. Kassler's other decorations include two Silver Star Medals, a Legion of Merit, nine Distinguished Flying Crosses, 11 Air Medals, a Bronze Star Medal, and a Bronze Star Medal with B for Valor and two Purple Hearts. Colonel James Kassler, a hero, a patriot, and an example of leadership for the 21st century.
Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. We have rearranged our schedules, set aside some other activities, lowered the flags in our community to half mass, and come to this place that we might remember the passing and mark the life and legacy of an American hero. James Castler was an outstanding individual using any measure one would seek to use. Obviously a military hero, a wonderful businessman, a husband, father, grandfather, and citizen. He had a generous spirit, a warm and gracious smile, a good sense of humor, and in spite of his sometimes tough exterior, he had a tender heart. Although I am a university president, I never speak to a wiser group than at a memorial service. A moment like this forces us to look at life through the lens of eternity. And that viewpoint has a way of bringing life's most important values into focus. It was the English cleric and poet John Donne who wrote, therefore, send not to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. We are all mortal. The scripture says there is a time to be born and a time to die. However, when someone we know and respect and love passes, it gives us a moment, a kind of our town moment to give thanks for every ordinary, extraordinary day and for the people in our community. So let us begin with a few moments of reflection as we listen to some of the music that Colonel Kassler loved the best. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I am weak, I am worn, through the storm. I have received on behalf of the family some letters of condolence. First from Senator Richard Durbin to the family and friends of Colonel James Kassler. I had the honor of knowing Jim Kassler for nearly 20 years. We met during the early planning stages of the Abraham Lincoln Cemetery in Elwood, Illinois. 
Over the years, I sought Jim's counsel on other important veterans' issues, and our paths crossed numerous times at Olivet Nazarene University when I was there visiting students or watching the Chicago Bears during training camp. I was always so impressed by his kind and compassionate nature. Jim earned 76 awards for valor and service. And although he suffered much abuse during his time in the prison camp, he did not let it defeat him. I know that he will be sorely missed by all those who were fortunate enough to know him. May your memories of him bring you solace. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Sincerely, Richard J. Durbin, U.S. Senate. I've also received a letter of condolence from Representative Robin Kelly, a congresswoman from this congressional district. Dear Mrs. Kastler and family, Colonel James Kastler is truly one of America's finest heroes. Today, I join the community of Moments and the county of Kankakee in honoring and expressing my admiration and gratitude to Colonel Kastler for an exceptional lifetime of service to his country, his community, and his proud family. I salute you, Colonel. May you rest in peace. Sincerely, Robin Kelly, member of Congress. I've also received a letter from Representative Adam Kensinger of the 16th District. Dear friends and family of Colonel Kassler, I wish I could join you today as you gather to honor Colonel James Kassler. Unfortunately, I'm unable to attend as I am currently fulfilling my Air National Guard duty. Colonel Kassler will be remembered as a husband, father, grandfather, an entrepreneur, and a pillar of his community. But to this country, he will always be remembered as an American hero. My thoughts and prayers are with the Kassler family. Sincerely, Adam Kinzinger. And we've received a video greeting from Senator John McCain. I'm very sorry that I am unable to be with you to honor the memory of a great and truly outstanding American, a great pilot, a great aviator, and a man of integrity and courage. You know, Jim Kessler was selected for special treatment by our Vietnamese hosts because it was well known of his previous acts of valor and courage and success in the air wars in both Vietnam and Korea. I've known very few people in my life that inspired me the way that Jim Kessler did. He was injured, he was strong, he was courageous, he was an example.